subject, insomnia. Mm -hmm. What about that? How do you treat that? Well, insomnia is really broken up into different kinds. There's people that have difficulty falling asleep, and then if people have difficulty staying asleep. So some people that have difficulty going to sleep, it could be for psychological reasons, they may be stressed, but they may have another common problem called the restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome affects probably about 10% of the population. Not to say that 10% of the population will require treatment, yeah. because it may not be a nightly problem, but it may be more like 4% of the population may have restless legs to a degree that needs to be treated. And does that wake you up? Is that well, there are leg movements that can occur in the middle of the night in people that have restless legs, and these leg twitching movements can wake you up. Right. And they also result in you having non-restorative sleep. It can result in daytime sleep. So what do you do for that? There are certain medications that we can use. And now we, really, we now realize that this is a problem with dopamine, actually. There's a, um, dopamine functions almost like a filter within part of the nervous system. And by not having enough of this dopamine, there are signals that get through that it's almost like a static of the nervous system. And it creates a sensation of restlessness. So a person moves their extremities, particularly the legs, to drown out the static. So the, stim the stimulation of movement drowns out this restless sensation. By increasing dopamine, we f increase the strength of that filter, and we're filtering out the static sensation. So dopamine actually works well. But you can also have this problem as a result of an iron deficiency. And so we see it a lot of times really? in people with anemia. We now know that you need iron for your brain to make dopamine. So we uh, measure iron levels in people that have this problem. But this is a common problem of, um, it, for people that have insomnia. And we now understand it better and we can treat it better. Very interesting.